Cleaners, what's cranking? Welcome back to the channel. We are starting the video off at one of my favorite places, that being the Guggen HQ. Today's a big day because we're picking up one of my good buddies from California. He's flown all the way from SoCal to Texas, and we're gonna show him a true Texas experience, that being Tex-Mex, barbecue, big bass, and just kind of have a good time. But first, we gotta pick up the Lund. Have not caught many fish off the Lund yet, so let's go check her out and make sure she still runs. Oh yeah, she's looking good. Have you ever seen a boat that I've owned look this clean? No. The reason is because I haven't used it that much. And it's because I've been up in Maine. We've been chilling at Camp Claw, which by the way, we are working on announcing the winner for the giveaway. Thank you to everyone who supported us and bought the merch. It means a lot. I know we're, you know Mercury and, and Lund sponsors and we can't talk bad about them, of course, but truly there's absolutely nothing about this boat that I dislike. I think I got the better boat too. A parrot got the, uh, the gray one. It just looks a lot nicer. I had a white boat originally, the, the slow, the 198 slow, so it's nice to have a boat that's not gonna get filthy, at least. I gotta get all rigged up. We gotta pick up Kyle in a few hours or like an hour, probably 20 minutes. He's probably waiting in the airport, so we gotta get everything consolidated here and then head over to DFW to pick up our good buddy. I need to steal some rods. I don't have I don't have very many Guggen, all my Guggen rods are from Maine. A lot of good that does me. Uh, reaction, I already have like 50 of these. Yo, what's up? Hey, oh wow, sorry, you sound annoyed. Would it be okay if I just use these prototype rods? I mean, that's that, fine. That's not gonna piss anyone off? No. I mean, they're all up in Maine, which was good, but then it froze, literally froze in Maine, so. All right, all right. Peace, brother, bye. That's where I use some prototypes. These rods, they're hard to come by. Like, I don't even have all the sets yet. I mean, I do, but they're up in Maine. Londo kit. Londo kit. I have literally no tackle in Texas. I took all of it up to Maine. You. Wait, yeah. Yeah, I think I see you actually. You wearing a you wearing you wearing a white blouse? What's up? What's up, boys? We're Welcome to now. Texas. You've been to you've been to Maine, now Texas. I know. Hopefully the fish is a little bit better here. This is a two-seater uh, SUV. It's a coupe. Sweet. Yeah, let's, let's you get some. Oh it's temporary. There you go. Perfect. Let's run this open till 10. That'll do. That was ridiculous. I feel like I'm filming on Chartered again. I don't have an extension cord in Texas because I took literally, like you have no idea, you guys, all my stuff, all my fishing stuff, all of my, my, my handy dandy gear went up to Maine. So it's almost like I'm starting fresh. It's kind of fun, it's nice. So I learned that this boat has technically four bank charger. There's a charger under there that charges my starter battery. That's so unique. Here we are. Day one of Texas, we've just picked up Kyle. He's experienced, honestly, pretty good Texas. Mex joint. That was way better than expected. It was fantastic. It was not bad. It was pretty bougie Tex-Mex. It was bougie, I will admit. That was one of the bougier spots, but it was good. It sufficed. We're gonna spend the next uh, probably two hours rigging up this boat, rigging up the Lund. Honestly, we're just out here to have fun. It's gonna be a, a really great next few days and we're excited to bring you guys along with. But yeah, this is neat. I remember my first time in Texas and it was good. It was caught lots of fish and had lots of margaritas and she made a time of it. So anyway, we're gonna get some twigs rigged up and we'll catch you guys bright and breezy in the AM. Hey, good morning. Welcome back. docks try to get it like you have to get it right up under but the closer the better like at the end of them too like they'll hang out just right at the end of the docks oh my i think i just had one yeah right there yeah i like stopped it for a second there's one no dude big fish oh my god oh my god that was a good fish Stopped me. Just stopped me. In between the dock and here. I could not move that fish too. It was like heavy. It's a good song, I guess. 
I got one. Oh, I snagged something. I snagged something. No, I've got a catfish. Or no, I snagged a catfish. <laughs> me. He's got a line in his mouth too. Oh no. Well, that sums up the day thus far. Classic Lake Arlington. All right, damn time. On. Good one? Yeah, decent. There we go. This is a fish. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, sir. We won't catch many, but they'll be big. Pull that puppy out. First Texas bass, and it's a unit. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? We're going to eat that. We'll get another one. Probably not. It's 10 43. We started fishing around, around 7. Do the math in your head. It's not going so great. But Kyle's taking the skunk and throwing it off the boat. Not a giant Texas bass, but it's your first one. We'll first take one. it. Yeah. We've been fishing rip wrap docks. I had something good. I hooked a catfish in the ass. Um, but other than that, it's been mighty slow. We're not giving up though. Nice job, man. Let's go get some more. Another one? There's one. There it is. Little. Oh, there he was. Damn. Wow. That's the quality we're hoping to see. It. Yeah, that's I love how I said before you came here, like you're not gonna get too many, but they're all gonna be good. Yeah. And we've proceeded to hook a two fish cumulative of like 14 inches. Better than nothing. There he goes. Oh my god, nice one, nice one, dude. good one, yeah. Yeah, there, you go. there we go, take that, it feels weird to feel something with some weight, barely hooked too though, watch me lose him, oh, we got him, Ooh. there we go, wow, wow, it's a grind, yeah, Kyle put that very eloquently, it's a grind out here, just barely hooked too, doesn't make any sense why they're not more fired up, but that's my first fish of the day, maybe close to, I don't know, pound three quarters, nice to be back in Texas, feels good, the fish are about the same size as they were in Maine, but at least we're getting some bites. Just fishing docks with moving baits. Let's throw a little bladed jig. Kyle's throwing the banger. And we're just trying to make something out of nothing. Bye bye. They taste like dog food, I guess. Of coots. Oh, dude, there we go. That's much better. That's much better. That makes me happy. Right in the shade, eh? Really shallow too, huh? Yeah. Yes. That's what's up, hey, put it there. That's a that's a much better urban bass. Watch them hooks. Yeah. And now it's in the boat. There's one double decent one, dude. Good one. Good one. Come on. Doubled up? Doubled up. Mine's pretty good. Oh, that is a good fish. That's a good fish. Really hooked up. Oh my god, do not come off. Do not come off. Oh, dude, let's go. <laughs> Double dog. What happened? We were sucking it up, my guy. <laughs> That's a good fish. That is a quality bass. Definitely my biggest one in the lun so far. Right on the corner of that dock. Maybe, honestly, it might it might need to just get hotter for them yeah. to push up under the shade. Yeah. Also, by the way, we're in like, watch, look how deep we are. This lake is so low. Watch this. Boom. Two and a half. Two and a half feet. That's nuts. That right there is a Texas stud. We need to get you on one of these. I've actually not caught a fish that fat in a while. That's like a spring, that's what they look like. They all look like this in the springs. Beauty. Oh, she's pooping shad. That's a good sign we're throwing the right stuff. Time to put it back. Oh, that's a quality bass right there. We need to get like a few more of these and we'll be set. Come on, sister. You put up a mean fight. Oh, that was like a 19 inch fish that probably was close to 
five pounds. Dude, doubled up. You guys understand, Alex Yetter will obviously do a good job of making the day seem shorter than it has been, but it's been long, long. It's hot. Before I came here, it was like 70 degrees. Now it's 90. Four hours now. Four hours of just nothing. But that made it worth it. Let's go get some more. What do you say? Yeah. Crush. Crush. So what we've been trying to do all day and just now seeing results with is we're throwing moving baits. Right now, we're kind of on the edge of the shad spawn in Texas, meaning a lot of the shad are gonna start moving shallow, really close to the bank, and they're gonna get really vulnerable, and the bass totally take advantage of that. So anything like a, a recon, a banger, a bladed jig, a, a zinger, stuff like that is what I'm kind of throwing and focusing on. We've bounced between a little bit of everything today, uh, stuff with flash, stuff with vibration, anything with like a fast moving action that's gonna imitate a shad is what we wanna throw. And when it's hot like this, and when the water temp is, is rising, Definitely want to focus on places that have shade. So, probably just mud on the bottom too. No, it's hard bottom. Really? Yeah. Uh, like sand. That's the other reason why this lake is good because it's awesome for spawning. Yeah, dip your tip in the water. Dip your tip in the water. There's one. I always say the dumbest stuff. I literally always say the dumbest stuff when I hook up. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> anyway, we have another largemouth. It's uh, not as big as the last one, but. We shall take it. These aren't ideal conditions. It's like tough out here, but we're making it happen. And that's not a, that's not a bad one. Like I said, we're still getting back in the motion of Texas fishing. Thank you, little dude. Shoo. Shoo. See ya. Uh, that's a sign. Duck and cover, boys. I don't wanna ruin that duck. We're out of here. We're gonna get some grub. We, uh, should we end the video here or are we gonna go fishing again? Might as well. Yeah. Might as well drop into like some little. Yeah, let's do it. He gave a heavy sigh. He's like, oh my God, here we go. John's full psycho mode, wanted to fish 30 different lakes in one day. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some barbecue because he's not had Texas barbecue. We're gonna put the boat back in the trailer, eat, refuel, cool down, and head back to probably a different lake. This was good, not great. There's a lot of lakes here in DFW, but um, this one wasn't the hottest. No pun intended. All right. Meet you guys at spot number two. Oh, I'm just inhaling fumes. <laughs> wow, we failed. Like I said, we we're gonna try spot number two. And guess what? We didn't catch anything at spot number two. It was quite musty and dusty. But that's okay, we've got a lot of time here in Texas. My goal is to try to figure this fishery out once again. I'm full main mode right now, so I'm, I'm like focused on like striped bass and smallmouth, but we really have to adjust and figure out how to catch bass here in the fall. But regardless, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for enjoying today's video and viewing the thing all the way through. Like I always say, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you want to see on the channel next, and Alex and I will make it happen. But we appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.